Once again, a big, big good evening. Welcome along to everybody. This is My Soul, My House Radio. Me, Sai says, in the hot seat, taking care of things till 11 p.m. And I'd just love to say a big welcome to the House Gospel Choir. You back? It's been. Um, yeah, yeah, massive, massive welcome. Firstly, I'd like to just give thanks and praise to you guys for joining me on the show tonight. We've been trying to get you um, on for ages, and I'm just so grateful that it's happened. Um, you know, we've been interviewing so many people in my time on the radio, uh, but I really don't think I've been excited as this much, and I generally mean that for you guys to come on. So, yeah, thanks so much. And it's going to be my last show of the year as well, so I feel like we're going to go out in right, spectacular. Yeah, last show of the decade, even better, yeah. So, um, so yeah, just tell the people, um, obviously, everyone's going to kind of know you are that are listening, but just tell Tell uh, the people like who you are, what you do, blah blah blah. <laughs> we are House Gospel Choir, and it we pretty much do what it says on the tin. We do house music and gospel music, and we're a choir, and we just came to have a good time, really, and just raise the vibration and Thank remind you. people that there's good news and good messages and good vibes, and we love to share that. Definitely yeah. brilliant. Sorry. Thank you. So before we um, hear some stuff, could you just tell us like how it all started? How did it first come about? Oh goodness. Um, do you know what? I, I've always sung in choirs or I've always sung and made music. Okay. Um, and I did a trip to South Africa. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. In 2011 with um, QB Smith and At Jazz and some really great DJs. Right. And I was at House 22 one night, and the vibe was just sick and everyone for some reason it felt like everyone was singing in tune and it, right, okay. it just felt like a choir it could have been the drink but <laughs> i think it was like genuine and i just thought you know what when i come home i want to feel that more so i called up a couple of my mates um and our first session was five years ago wow and there was like 12 of us in the room wow 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 uh, within a couple of weeks we had 30 members wow 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 our first booking was glastonbury and yeah we just kept going since then. it's a bit mad so how mad. many of us actually here tonight is it 10 or around that number good question i think we got nine tonight i'm not i'm not can we introduce different. everyone just yes, so we can please. say the names and stuff hi i'm monique i'm part of the alto section hi i'm sis i'm also an alto hi i'm zj i'm part of tennis hi i'm lizzie i'm also one of the alto's hi i'm ralph i'm in the tenor Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm in the tennis as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. I'm in the Sopranos. Hi, I'm Liana. I'm in the Sopranos. Brilliant, oh. brilliant. Welcome, welcome <laughs> thank again, thank you. all of you. Thank you. So, so you're growing all, um, growing and growing all the time. And um, my friend Calica, he, he helped yes. set this all up. So I've got to say Hello. big, big thanks to him. <laughs> Um, and I was saying, how many are there? And he was like, there's hundreds, there's hundreds. <laughs> all, all together, we've got about 130 members at the moment. Wow. Um, and we rehearse every Monday at Rich Mix in Bethnal Green. Okay. Um, so it's like our, our house gospel choir is community is, right. is quite big. And our professional choir is probably about 20 people, 25 people. Wow. Um, that we, and we train hard. Yep. <laughs> Very hard <laughs> to be able to deliver gospel vocals whilst jumping up and Everyone down. Everyone agrees skanking. with that, really. <laughs> <laughs> we we had we had a how long was the rehearsal last night? Very long. Yeah. Wow. It was like a seven hour rehearsal. Amazing. Last night. But that's why, you know, we're gonna get into some of the stuff that you lot have been doing because really still in five years is quite a short space of time. And what you lot have done in that time is 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 incredible, really. And I think when you work as hard as you are and you're talented as you are, it comes together. But it's Thank you know, you. nothing pays off without hard work, right? Honestly. <laughs> And we dedication as well. hundred <laughs> percent. So um, yeah, tell us a little bit. Like, where does the inspiration come from? From the house, the house stuff that you cover. Where does it? Where, where do you get the ideas and uh, stuff? First and foremost, the dance floor. I feel like okay. um, DJs are, you know, responsible for so much good vibes and good energy um, in the dance. Uh, it's a massive responsibility. So it's always those songs I've come away from a club night thinking, oh my god, what's that tune? And back in the day, you never knew the name of tune. Sure, sure. And DJs didn't want to tell you. <laughs> now we so, Shazam. Yeah, now, now, I don't. Yeah, I try not to Shazam on the dance floor. Please, guys, okay. leave your phones. Home when, you, <laughs> yeah, time, yeah, when it's time it. to rave, just put the phone in your pocket, man. But um, yes, I just used to hum songs to people, and then you'd end up singing it with your mate, and then it just becomes one of your favourites. Like. Um, like I think of like beautiful people by okay. Barbara Tucker, right. and all I all I knew was deep, deep inside, sure, deep sure. for ages. And I was like, okay, that's the hard drive, and you kind of just keep digging and find right. the thing, the essence of the sure, thing you sure. love. Sure, Was so. that the first track that you lot done? Yeah, it actually right. was. Yeah. <laughs> it was wow, the first song, yeah. And is it is that your favourite? Have you guys got a favourite or? Ooh, it's so hard. Any favourites from any of the guys? What's your fave? Oh, I don't know. I can't love lives. We love lives. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. That's a big one. Yeah. Show me love. Yeah. What's, hey, what's hey. the best? Hey, hey, is your yeah. Dennis yeah. Ferry, yeah. 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 How's the crowd? Re what's the best crowd reaction? Do you reckon from any Ooh. of the tracks? Um, if, you know what? If if people dance, then it's the point. Do you sure. know what I mean? Because we don't. As much as we're on stage, we we literally come to party. So sure, so you, can, you feel that definitely. Yeah, our 100%. shows a live DJ set with 
you know a gospel choir yeah so if you're not dancing then sure. then you haven't received the message of course of so. course sorry i forgot to introduce the amazing oh. the keys player on, on keys oh. we have mr harrison and harrison, uh, big up man yeah. welcome welcome Har- harrison's also our dj and musical director okay. he does so wow. many things and vocal arrangements and <laughs> right. other amazing. Things. And what, <laughs> yes. what a beautiful piece of equipment that lovely <laughs> yeah <laughs> talking about Harrison by the way <laughs> <laughs> no that Nord Electric 5 <laughs> so let's just um, jack back a little bit because I know a great moment for you guys when you performed at Glastonbury as you just said um, tell us about like how that situation came back it's quite a special story it's like, almost like one of those meant to be moments yeah, right yeah for sure um, <laughs> so I I was tour managing at the time and I'd heard that they were looking for a choir for Glastonbury and we hadn't uh, well no I'd t- spoken to a few people about starting House Gospel Choir right so um I approached the promoter and said, yeah, I've got a choir, but we do house music. Is is that all right? Um, And he said, yeah. So quickly put the choir together. (laughs) And uh, I think it was like 14 weeks later, we were on the acoustic stage. Amazing. Um, Yeah, we worked really hard to make that come to life. Brilliant. So we're going to hear some um, uh, congratulations on that. Are you going to do it again? Are you back there again? Or yeah, we've we've done we've it a done couple it, times yeah. since then. Oh, right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, been really me. fortunate. We were back there um, in Silverhaze this June. Just okay. gone, and that was wicked. Like our set was one thirty in the morning, so it was like everyone wow. that had been on a Sunday night. So right, it was right. like the spot. Sure, and, sure. Yeah, so yeah, it was wicked. So before we go any further as well, you want to just uh, let us know you've got some massive events coming up. Like is it Christmas and New Year's yeah. as well? Yeah. And you said you might give some tickets away if that of was course, possible. Of course, please. If there's anyone listening that would like to come down and hasn't been um, quick enough to get tickets for our show at Brixton Electric okay. next week, Thursday the 19th. And we've got a couple of pairs to give away. I'm okay. going to let Cy decide how we do that. All right, no <laughs> problem. Yeah. No problem. And um, I think we've got a couple for New Year's Eve as well. We are taking over Somerset House. Amazing. Yeah, getting, like putting a proper house party in a stately oh, home. Fantastic. Be wow. so. Brilliant, <laughs> yeah. brilliant. So when you do these sort of things, obviously, is it more production with it? Do you, do more musicians come with you as well? Is it the DJ thing? Is Harrison yeah. just on his own or is it more? No, nah, we do some gigs. So we yeah. have a smaller show, like a sound system set, where okay. Harrison is DJing and on keys right. and directing <laughs> 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 sometimes from time to time. Um, and then our full scale show has got uh, keys, drums, bass. We've got our own horn section called the Amazing Biscuit Horns. Okay. They're very, very good. Wow. Um, yeah, and that's the whole ensemble. So the electric thing, that's 19th of December for the, is that the, your headline in it, yeah? Yeah. Have you yeah. done that before or is it the first? Yeah, this is our fourth year of Christmas shows um, and our Christmas show is when we really get a chance to um, try out new stuff sure. and just push the push the envelope a little bit in, so in terms of what we're going to do into 2020 as well. So Okay, brilliant. Yeah. All right, well, we're going to hear some stuff from you guys now. Yes. So I'll leave it down to you. All right, fantastic. This one is um, one of our favourites by uh, the incredible uh, Candy Statton. It's called Hallelujah Anyway. And we have recently produced and recorded our own version of this with um, the incredible DJ Spin, and that will be be coming next year at some point. So, yeah, so listen out for that. But this is um, Hallelujah Anyway. Hey. What's 
taking God so long Your back is up against the wall Your back is up against the wall Pressure on every side uh-huh. So when the night you cry uh-huh. You wonder if you hear your God You've got to trust Him Be patient Cause He's working behind the scenes Working behind the scenes you believe. Praise Him till your blessings come down. Praise Him, Praise him till your situation turns around. you got to lift up your voice and say, Absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. Thank you, Thank so, you so so, so much. much for that. The energy is just, it's, it's just, I can't describe it. It's brilliant. Thank you so Thank much. You, so let, that's Candy Staten originally, yeah. Yeah. And everybody's just like working to like almost like the full potential. Yeah. There's so much to take in. You can see, you know, the different sections. Yeah. And can you just break it down again? The actual sections that's in the so in the choir. Most harmonies, which singers, well, a lot of singers and producers know. Uh, sure. Most harmonies are three part. Okay. Uh, you got your alto harmony, which is like the melodies, which is the main thing that pokes out. Yeah. Over here, that's that like the middle of the sandwich. Uh, on the, the the bottom piece of bread. Okay. Yeah. If we're making a sandwich, is the tenors. They're the okay. bass. They give you that. Aye. And then on the top are the sopranos. <laughs> Right. The Mariah Carey's okay. of the world <laughs> yeah, 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 in yeah. the heavens. <laughs> um, so that's these ladies over there. Fantastic. Another Thank round you. of applause, Thank please. You. <laughs> it's, right now, it's like this more than kind of like what you guys do is more than just performing and just singing isn't it the, the energy the, like the blessings that come with it as yeah. well it's almost like you feel it in your body it uplifts you it's, it's healing it's, it's everything and I remember the first time that I saw you guys were at the Southport Weekender Festival oh, wicked. and again just like totally blown away by what you were doing there and I felt like at the time, we in the, the house scene where I come from in London, we hadn't ever experienced anything like that. Yeah. And I know that another record um, that was quite important to you guys is We Are One, right? Yes. Yeah. Which is um, by the, coffee. Yeah, and the late Masekela. great Hugh yes. Masekela, rest yes. in peace. Um, yeah. Sadly passed away last year. So, um, And I felt like in that moment, there was that same sort of ethos coming through. And I, there's, bearing in mind, there's the first time I've ever seen you guys. Yeah. But when I was looking around, there was like everybody in the house scene coming together like as one, which they kind of do anyway. Yeah. But there was a different... Um, energy that day I feel, I feel like I don't know because we've never seen it before basically yeah. do you know do you know what as well though like I, I think on mass we've never really seen it but then you've got amazing acts like Jasper Street Company sure. who re, re, and gospel vocals sure. are so central to so many of our favourite house tunes yeah. but I think being able to um, put that on stage is always mm-hmm. a challenge and definitely always been yeah. challenging do you know what I mean yeah. but um, it's definitely been worth it and I mean like going back to what you said about Jasper Street and again not sounding like territorial or anything like that but it's normally the Americans in the house in that come with that weight yeah, like the okay. Jasper Streets yeah, we yeah. never really had it represented from London let alone yeah. the UK and I know it's not about that but it's not about that but I think what you guys do it represents but us our, our house music is, is you know UK house music is 
wicked wicked yeah Being amazing bad, no, definitely, you know? definitely and we've got some of the best gospel singers in the world in this country definitely so exactly our, you know our gospel tradition is different to the American scene when which sure. it's, it's definitely got like that American root to it but mm-hmm. we're more Caribbean there's more right. like African swag in there as well sure, so sure. it's a really different vibe to what you'd get in America which I think resonates with British people because definitely. it's what we experience definitely you know? definitely and going back to what you said um, before the um, Hallelujah record you said you re- recorded that with Spen right yeah, yeah wow that's amazing really fortunate we, we actually met him at that Southport weekend okay yeah fair, um, and had a chat with his manager and um, fantastic and he was still in town a week later when we were having our session right so we were cheekily I sick. bet he was loving it yeah, yeah. <laughs> we said do you, you want to come down and like um, and he thought he was just coming to have a look and uh, we ended up getting him to teach uh, what did he teach um you know, you, everyone's mind's gonna go yeah. blank. You know, that great song. That great song. <laughs> I'm oh, gonna remember. House, was it? <laughs> no. Oh. Um, keep going. I'm gonna remember. <laughs> was it one of Spen's songs? Um, oh. Praising his name. Praising his name. Yeah. Yeah. Big up DJ Spen. Yeah. Right? Big time. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Between nine of us, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're gonna, we're gonna. Um, so just let's go back again. So the big dates are the nineteenth of December, Electric yes. Brixton yes. taking over that. That's going to be. Yeah. I think I'm definitely gonna have to come. You to have that to now. come. It's round the corner, you have isn't to come. it? Yeah. We've been working so hard on the show. Man. Definitely. So and New Year's Eve, Somerset House again. Yeah. What an absolutely amazing venue to go and even to be yeah. in, let alone to perform at. Definitely. Right? It's a much massive blessing. And if anybody, I'm trying to think. What anyone could give me any suggestions of a um, a question? Brian, Uncle Brian, can you help me out? Emailing win ticket for Cobb. Oh, there you go yeah, so <laughs> send us an email or hit us on any of the socials um, just basically yeah what, what Uncle Brian said and, um, or, or also with an answer to what was the song DJ Spen taught us when uh, he came there you go because yeah. yeah. uh, okay. oh, no let's right, see right, <laughs> yeah. that's it because we, we would not win <laughs> <laughs> someone someone's going to win <laughs> Right, so we're going to get into some, uh, we're going to do another track now. And I know it's not um, just house tracks that you do. Um, you do some amazing stuff for like some garage records, yeah, garage yeah, tracks. Yeah. Um, one of my favourite garage records actually, and from one a producer I think is, and vocalist that are probably my favourite on that circuit <laughs> is Wookie and, and yeah, Lane, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys do the battle. But we're going to hear another song now that was, um, but it's like an epic anthem, worldwide anthem, this yeah. one, right? Done yeah. by um, Roy Davis during the song by Pevan Everett. Indeed. Originally. Um, so, yeah, take yeah. it away, guys. Yeah, just, just for a little Christmassy vibe as well. Just okay. to give you a taste of this. Raph, do you want to come lead this one for us? Okay. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh 
absolutely. Again, just no words for that. You, 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 I'm actually getting like goosebumps, slightly emotional standing there in front of you, not listening to that. Could you just let us know um, again? Um, your friend that was done the lead there for us. Uh, that, this is the incredible Raf. Raf, um, big up, man. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 I just love it because it just totally flips the record, right? Yeah. And it's yeah. just beautiful and so great for this time of year as well yes, um absolutely. is there any shouts that you guys want to put out while you're here or do you know what big up the rest of our choir yeah, yeah. 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 everyone at home listening hopefully you're all locked in locked on definitely uh, definitely to the mighty sounds of the my soul radio definitely. Uh, <laughs> yeah no it's fantastic <laughs> really really grateful to be here and also obviously big you guys up too because i genuinely um my soul is what i listen to in my car oh well, that's and, nice to and hear. i can put it on any time of the day and just hear something that moves me and, and i feel like this is one of the few london-based radio stations that really give us that sound okay. and um, and it feels proper British and right. you know like sure. the thing we're, we've been missing uh, yeah yeah so it's, uh, it's great. you know what that's Thank really you. nice that you say that it means a lot and also because th- my boss our the mighty boss, Gordon he's yes. here as well so <laughs> he, he's really helping important. me now I've got to say special thanks to Gordon and to Brian as well um, for staying behind and a, my, I might appear a little bit extra nervous it's not just because of you guys because my <laughs> 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 yes. but, um, so yeah, so we're gonna um, we're gonna hear another uh, another track in a minute. I just wanted to um, talk a little bit more. So it's something I was really interested to talk about. Um, I know we talked a, li- a little bit about it earlier. Was that like the ear that you guys have for production? Like thanks to like the songwriters, the producers, the vocal arrangers. Uh, and the selectors who kind of like make up your collective yeah. um, and also by the digging like whether that comes from like you know listen, hearing something in a club and then going and listen to it but um, yeah just tell us a little bit about it, how it all comes together where do you like go to do that and stuff or how does it all I think a lot of it starts in, in the rave right. um, but we've just we're really open to everyone putting songs into the pot okay. and we always have been if you hear a tune that you love right. like, you just come in and you're gassed by it and you, you tell the team and yeah we see what we can make happen and the other thing is like so on our journeys because we travel around we're doing lots of festivals sure. we just make stuff up on the bus right okay. <laughs> and, and, and like no literally like I feel really sorry for the driver sometimes because it's a, it's a really noisy bus but yeah like arrangements come out of stuff like that so someone right. will be playing and someone else will hum a counter melody and Harry will be like I think I can make that work <laughs> and then you know two months later we've we've got a new track and uh yeah so but the team the team overall is super talented there's so many songwriters sure. and just amazing vocalists first and foremost definitely but, you know i think um when you create the right circumstances for people to um explore everything so we could just be singers but in this lineup here we've got choral directors we've got sure. marketing managers laura's also our community manager right. uh, sizzle way <laughs> manages our social media right. uh raf is one of our choral directors like i said harry's got all the jobs already <laughs> so um yeah like we so really it's a massive team effort, yeah isn't it, it yeah. really is you know and it's kind of developed that way because we we do a lot of stuff in-house we have some great people working with us definitely um outside of that as well tell us about your monthly uh, mass choir is it <laughs> and some of the guests you've had on because i know you've had some amazing artists haven't you, on yeah there? we have um so once a month we because so many people wanted to sing with us um but maybe couldn't commit to doing a full term we do once a month we do an open mass choir right. where you can literally anybody can come and just turn up at rich mix uh, grab a ticket okay. grab a drink at the bar and we put you in a harmony section <laughs> right, yeah. and like yeah, you gotta come, honestly. And it's Brian not. Will love it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so many people get nervous at the thought of having to sing. Sure, Maybe yeah. they sang as a, in a choir of as course. a kid or something. Mm-hmm. But it's it's just not that. Like it's the the lights are down low. Right. It's like a, no, really. Okay. And then we have like Lizzie up on stage teaching different arrangements. Where's Lizzie gone? She's yeah, there. sorry. <laughs> up, up on stage, um, she does a lot of the vocal arrangements, and we're really fortunate um that we've got to work with some really great artists so this month we had um a singer songwriter producer called camille last month we had sinead harnett wow uh, okay. week before that month hamza. before that hamza. who's that hamza, hamza. Uh, hamza. earlier this year we had black madonna and georgia come hamza. down yeah like we've been really 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 fortunate yeah. with and but it's not always a special guest because we also got all this talent in the team of course, of course. and we've got our choir director daniel thomas okay We'll put you through your pace right, in proper yeah. old school. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when it, remind us when that happens again. Is it monthly? Uh, every, yeah? yeah, every first Monday of the month. The f- right. Uh, we just had our last one of the year, so um, and we're back on the third of February. Okay. Yeah. So if anyone just fancies having a sing along, like honestly it's no pressure it's and you're not being it's dark it's, it's dark, it's dark. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, it's, yeah. <laughs> and it's just it's just that feeling you know when you leave yourself Fancy on the dance floor <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna come 
Oh, oh, yeah. he, all right, he gave us, he gave us the thumbs up. Right. We'll start producing you. Yeah. All right, come on. Yeah. I've got a, a, a shout here. Just got, there's so many messages coming. I'm just going to do one quickly from Snoops and T. And they said that they took the kids to the workshop that you put on. Oh, wicked. And that, that you were so uplifting. And thanks so much. So. Oh, Brilliant, thank you, man. Snoops and T. Yeah, big up Snoops and T. And also all the listeners that um, are locked in tonight, I'm going to try and get through some of the messages later. But also you can... Listen again um, on Mixcloud tomorrow if you just join the show later. We'll be up on there. Um, right, so we, we know about your gigs. I want to remind them we're getting 19th of December. Indeed. Yep, yep. and New Year's Eve at Somerset House. Yeah. You probably can't give it away, but you've got something special for the countdown. Uh, well, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, definitely. But the countdown, because um, where Somerset House is positioned, right. um, part of the, the big thing on that night is that it's facing the London Eye. Okay. So you get to do the countdown moment with um, everyone else in London that's out there, but from the safety of your own private terrace <laughs> <laughs> on, the back, yeah. on the back of a stately home. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll be part of that moment. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to get into some uh, more music now from you guys. And this is, the, is this the third and final one you're doing? It is the it third is. and final one, yeah. Okay, I cool. feel like, <laughs> all right, yeah, no, it is. It's definitely, definitely this last one um i'm gonna i mean do more if you want i'm not saying, I'm not saying that <laughs> we'll have a chat we'll have a chat i'm gonna introduce uh mon and cj who are okay. going to sing one of our mon and cj hello favorites. hello okay and this one's called most precious right let's get it Beautiful people, if you believe that you are precious, I want you to put your hands together. Say hallelujah. Say amen. Are we ready? Precious. Precious love. Precious love, yeah.
so much. Honestly, thank you guys for having us. It's been a real pleasure. I mean, that just works so well, doesn't it? Is it Mon? Is it Mon? Mon and Mon. CJ. And CJ. Brilliant. Thank you so thank much. And the rest you. of you, of thank course, you as well. Guys. It sounds so cool together, those two, man. The way they work. And that's one of the best. That's one of the best things about House Gospel Choir. I think. I think we've created our own little family. Definitely, in, uh, man. You know, it's little safe space in London where we can just have a rave and sing in tune and, and I think you can feel that as well from <laughs> yeah. you guys it just oh, it, it comes through in abundance definitely um, some of the tours that you guys have done already is, I've been seeing here just to name a few like Singapore Denmark um, Australia and um, Best of All Love Box and places like that I saw that you also um, did you do Animax Wedding or something like that we it? did do Animax wow. Wedding yeah uh, to, Todd, to Todd Lettie obviously yeah, yeah she got yes yes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wasn't that other wedding she no 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 she got married to Todd Lettie yeah we sang um, that's the way love goes with oh, Jesse Ware. I was gonna, yeah, I was wicked, really? Yeah, wow, amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so is there any more tours coming up on the, the horizon for 2020? Um, or? well, we've got some interesting things already in the calendar for next year. Uh, most exciting one so far, I think, is Southport Weekend. Oh, wow. <laughs> if I'm honest, like, there's, there's some great stuff happening. It's no, like, it's not about anything else, but it's definitely one of the main reasons we do what we do. Like, yeah. I think so. Like, again, going back to that day when I was there, it just felt like there was something different happening there. I was looking around to people, and I've been on the scene quite a long time, but um, I'd never seen that almost like unison. It felt like it was something, especially because it's in the UK as well. Yeah. Felt like yeah. we were a part of something different, because really normally we're just there is. dancing to DJs and stuff. I mean, we're all DJs as well, but it's like that day was just something different happening. I'm not quite sure oh. what it was. <laughs> no, we felt, no, to be fair, we felt yeah. it too, you know, because that, that te- and that tent was packed. Right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a different, I mean, normally I kind of like linger around the side or I'd, I'd already DJ'd, I think, in the My Style Arena. So I, you know, like sometimes at Southport, you have a little diary of what you're yes, going to do. Yes, yes, yes. And what times so I was like, got to come and see you guys. And I went right into the thick of it, right up in the front. And people were like, the adoration from the crowd was, oh, was, was crazy. Yeah, it's just, level. I think, do you know what I think it is as well? Because we're on stage, like, it's reflecting what we're seeing in the crowd. Right. So if someone puts their hands in the air and, like, starts jumping, one of us will do yeah. it too. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, like, it's, it's that energy is, like, felt and received and given back. So... Definitely. Well, I'd just like to say again a massive thank you um, for joining us, joining us, me, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much. I can't say how grateful we are. And also, not just for that, but the energy that you guys are bringing out there. Like, you're making people feel uplifted, empowered, um, giving them euphoria, all these sorts of things as well. So, yeah, you're doing amazing things. So, thank you so thank much. You. Um, yeah, it's just a cr- you're just credit to yourselves, your families, to the whole scene as oh, well. Amazing. So Mate, that means that. a lot, honestly. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, and I hope to have, uh, before we go, you've got an album coming, or is it already coming? We com- do have yeah. an album coming. Yeah, we did a deal with Island Records wow. last okay. year. Um, so we, we released uh, we released two singles now. Right. We did a, a version of Wookiee's Battle. Who okay. re- who, he reproduced right. that for us. Which I was, was really hoping great. I'm not going to... I was... I, I was, I, <laughs> I was a little bit optimistic. Yes. Yeah? yeah. So, a bit optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> what were you optimistic but about? I, that, no, I was trying to like be clever there because right, no, no, we love optimistic when you do that. And obviously the Lane thing, but I heard the story. Wookie's a good friend yeah. of mine, and again he had the same sort of thing where he was there. Yeah, he was and at he Southport, heard, yeah. And he heard you do it, and then the next, you know, the next thing you got he to made do it. it like, better. And I think <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was like, "That's not how the baseline goes." Like. <laughs> <Is that it? laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> so tell me about it. Also, before you go, the album. Who else is on there? Because I was reading there's some incredible people on there yeah, producing, so right? DJ spends produced two cuts on there um todd terry wow okay um, god why is my mind gone blank todd the t um has produced some stuff on there um goodness we me. missed out on this year Brian. adelphi music factory <laughs> our last single actually um a song called salvation right um which we released in september um was produced by adelphi music factory yeah and just a when is it when is it out what's that the album yeah I, I want to tell you a date. Yeah. I actually yeah. don't know. Like, right. if anyone's working with major labels, then you know how that well, goes. But we're just yeah. trying to work on great songs and just keep building our show. So, yeah, as far I, as when an actual album date comes, I think as well. Like, mark. just thinking about it. I mean, I, I, another role that I do in in my day job is A and R for a record label called Soul Heaven. Yeah, and we're owned by Defected, so I see a lot of this. But I've never. I'm trying to think like a label like Island. You, what you're bringing on there is obviously yourself, but there's producers like Todd like Spen yeah. that probably don't normally feature on those like major major labels mm. so not only is you're taking yourself 
to like the, the global audience like house music mm. itself as yeah, well as gospel yeah. music is and that, going was out. The, that was always the ambition and i think that's, I mean, that's so. absolutely massive and yeah. spend what probably one of the best people to produce a, yeah. a gospel house record uncle, right uncle yeah. spend uncle now, spend <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. uncle spend now to be fair no no and, and you know what he's a really soulful and spiritual guy sure, so definitely um he's prayed for us a couple times honestly yeah, yeah. <laughs> amazing amazing so once again thanks a lot for joining me thank you guys thank you my soul, I can feel it. Can you feel it? It's a feeling in my soul. I can feel it. Can you feel it? It's a feeling in my soul. Oh. I can feel it. Can you feel it? It's a feeling in my soul. I can feel it. Can you feel it? It's a feeling. In my is my soul.